I have some old family films that I want to convert to digital with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You may have old family films, important things on different types of film. Not even sure what all this is. This is a Super 8. This is an Auto 8 movie cassette. And these things might look familiar to you. They're kind of pre my time, but I'll be honest. I remember watching science videos in grade school where they were real to real. Now, if you want to make those memories digital so that you can archive them, share them, all that kind of stuff, just see what's on those things. Honestly, I'm just kind of curious what's on them. And I'll probably save them for posterity. But to digitize them at home, you can pick this up. It's by Wolverine. Film to digital movie maker. And you can see here, it's got reels to run things through. So I want to quick unbox this because everything that you need to do that conversion, I think, is right here. Um, at the top of the box, we have a reel. Yes, right here. So we've got one reel. Then I've got, looks like, some cables for outputting. Ooh! We also get a duster. I remember these, and I didn't know what they were for, but they're for dusting off stuff when you have actual physical film. Looks like we have a three and a half millimeter to kind of an RCA plug cord right there. We also have a power cable right here. It looks like it is just a single prong. And then we have a mini USB cable. I think this type of thing was built years ago and they probably don't get as much love or have as much demand as they did when people were originally converting their stuff. And I know there's a lot of services online where you can send in your stuff and they'll convert it for you and that can actually be a really good way of doing it so that you don't have to buy the equipment but if you have a lot of stuff if you're interested in getting results right away you might be able to save yourself some money with this little contraption it kind of looks like a little boom box it's plastic housing right here we have a little handle and then on the back here we have an sd card slot we have a tv out right there which would be presumably this three and a half millimeter jack and we have the dc plug right in there um, kind of disappointed that it doesn't look like it comes with an SD card, so you're going to need your own, as far as I can tell. I don't see one included here. And then, on the front, we have a little tiny LCD screen, and that is going to be like your monitoring screen. So you can run these things reel-to-reel -reel here. This is going to catch the film, because it's going to assume, presumably, that you have your film on existing reels. So hopefully it's pretty universal in the way it works. So you're going to put it on one side. We do have arrows here, so it should make it fairly idiot proof. So you're going to run them from reel to reel. It looks like right down here, looks like we have the camera projector. So it will scan and view the film as it's going through. We have some buttons right up here. Power, mode menu, up and down, start, stop and enter right across the face there. And then we also have a little slider here. So from Super 8 film, we can also go to 8 millimeter film. So I was not filming on those formats, so I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out and hopefully we'll be able to see the results right there and just make sure that we're on the correct thing. It looks like the way this works is you've got a little scanner right there or a film projector and this little door. So you run the film over there, this is how you unlatch it, then you run the film over there, then you snap it down and that will kind of hold that film in place as it tracks. Okay, I'm getting things set up here. I do need one of these big SD cards or you need the adapter for it if it's not the big one here. So I think this one has some space. 16 gig, this thing has a 32 gig maximum size. So don't use your 64 gigs on there. I've gone ahead and put this receiving wheel on here you can see it goes on like that and there's a little tab you gotta kind of rotate it until it fits on and then presses on there we go and now your reel with your film will go on this side now what's kind of interesting about this is that they have put these solid white lines to show where the film is going to go and then it's going to go through here it's going to wrap around here it's like a serpentine belt on an engine and then the dotted line is when you flip the reels and you're going to follow the dotted line to do the rewind here okay so the other thing that i noticed that it came with are some adapters for this side for the different types of reel holes that you might need and like here is a reel yeah this red one looks like that's gonna fit and then you slide this on like this and now 
the film is going to come out this way so i want to follow this white solid line here so i'm going to put the reel on like that and now i'm going to follow all these lines and the first one down here now one of the big things that you have to keep in mind here is that in order to hold it in this track there's a tab right there a little white tab a little white tab right there and a little white tab right there so you want this film to run under the three tabs so that it will be held in place so i'm going to kind of get it under that first tab got it under the second tab right there it is a little funny because to me i think the stereotype is that the older generation doesn't really understand all this newfangled technology. And I'll tell you what, anyone who had to put up with st stuff like this should have no problems with the technology side of video filming or video production now, which is supposed to be kind of idiot proof and have all these digital instructions. So I'm wrapping it around. And now I'm wrapping it around here. There's a little slot inside this reel and I'm going to try to pull this so that I can get it in that slot. I'm just going to pull it a little tight there. I've never done anything like this in my life. So I've got that set up just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Ooh, that's lighting up. Look at that in the screen right there. Dude, I'm already getting an image. Now I think you can adjust this a little bit. You can adjust sharpness and exposure, but I think I'm just going to start recording and see what happens. So to start this little bad boy, just hit enter, I think. Okay, I finished here. What's funny is, I guess on actual physical film, there really isn't that much video, especially... I suppose if you're going to see something in 20, 30 frames per second. What's interesting is that it advanced it cell by cell and took a picture. So I think it's going to compile all those images into the film. I kind of expected it to run the film through at speed and record it as video. So that's kind of interesting. Now it's done here. And at the end of the film here, we get this kind of really thick film. So what we actually have to do is reverse the reels now and... I'm going to put this one over there and I'm going to have to move this adapter with it as well. Now I'm going to follow this little dotted line here. So I think I just hit enter again. And it's going to start tightening it up. And now it's just going to reverse them. Pretty cool. Definitely not super speedy super convenient i guess that's the beauty of technology and random access but we're getting these old memories converted to digital so let's see what we captured on that sd card so this film apparently is a shot of rafting on the grand canyon when my father was with his college buddies presumably so it's kind of an interesting film and this is the raw output so what we have here is it just a little bit off centered and i think maybe i can make some adjustments so that i don't have uh, the bottom of the frame at the top of the screen like i do i didn't do any color correction i didn't do anything in the recorder other than use the default settings. And so this is what you might expect. And obviously it looks like an Instagram photo because of the degradation of the film, but it's actually really smooth. It has really nice resolution. And even though this reel of film, once you get it converted to digital is only about 90 seconds or two minutes long, it's kind of cool to see some of these old experiences kind of come back to life. Now I will say apparently on these films, you don't have any audio with them. So it's just the film itself but it's still pretty cool. If you want to transfer your old 8mm films into digital files that you can share on YouTube, Google Drive, share them with family and friends who just might find them really entertaining or live some of those experiences from back in the day, this little device can help you do it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.